We are alive, yes. Okay. One sec, guys. I do a few things. Okay. I know it's been a while, guys. Um, I need to take a break from this game. It's, it's in a really bad spot, but uh, they released a few things, and uh, I feel like playing again, so I'm going to play. Um, like I said at the beginning of the year, I'll play when I feel like playing. I'm not going to force playing the game and make myself hate the game as fast as I can. If I were to play every single day, when I, even when I didn't want to, I would hate this game in a week. Um, yo, Tariq, welcome to the stream. We got David Villa here. I'm halfway done him. And I did an icon pack yesterday, which is not a good idea. Um, and I got Bobby Moore. So I wasn't too happy about that. Because um, even though Moore is not a terrible player, um, I have PK. So I ended up dropping PK for Moore, but I don't know. The car's really good. I just have a problem with his... Uh, his pace, which is kind of the same with PK, but uh, I don't know. I mean, he has good dribbling. I guess agility and balance is way better, which is going to make a big difference on him. He's going to feel pretty agile for a center back. I haven't used him yet, though, because I have not been playing this game. Even though I'm back to trading again, I have not been playing. I use a lot of my untradeables to get the icon thing done. I put in Lewandowski, just tons of players, because I'm tired of having the same players on my team, um, and I kind of just forced... Like force myself to get rid of all of them. So I can start using different teams now. Yeah, man, no, re no, re yeah, you're right. No risk, no reward. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's for off Crespo. I mean, Crespo's still a great card. Like I've, cause he's an he's an icon swap. I've played against him and he's killed me so many times. <clears throat> four star, four star. I would take him over who I got. It's actually a really good card. Wow. Great pace, good enough, especially. Um, amazing shooting. Long shots are kind of irrelevant. <clears throat> and then um, his all of his dribbling stats are very good. Uh, everything's fine with that. Stamina's high enough this year. That's a really good card, though. He's actually really cheap. Look at the returns on these. Look at the stats. Like different people seem to be really, really good with him. <clears throat> so that's pretty good. The more I got was 380k. Uh, what I've been doing though yesterday, yesterday I picked up about 30 Otamendis. I had about 19k and I've been selling them all at 23 and they've been selling. I've already sold 17 of them. Or no, I sold 18 of them. <coughs> so that one worked really well. I made about 100k in total once everything sells. I've been selling about two or three an hour. So even though it takes a while, it's still actually good. Now, one thing I want to look at is Squall Battle Rewards are in 40 minutes, I think. I don't really know. I don't play Squall Battles. Um, yeah, so this, he's, I was buying him at 19. He's He's been 19 the whole time. I mean, he, he hit 21 last night. But I just sell them Lazy Buyers because people are doing this Icon SBC. They see one's retired. Or, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't think. Um, expiring. Um, and then they buy it if it's only a few K more, which is why all these are all selling. I picked up a few Manjukic's on Snipe. I'll probably make like 500 coins a card. It's nothing great there. Um, but what I'm thinking is because we got Squall Battle reward, Rewards in... Oh, it's not even today. Crap, that was dumb. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Oh, you still, yeah, you still doing Gundawan? I did, I did, actually, I flipped two Gundawans um, yesterday. Okay, so I don't know why I was thinking today was Sunday, but for tomorrow, for, uh, what is it? For um, Squad Battle Rewards, I think it's actually a good time to, like an hour or two before, pick up some players that are 84s, 85s, because if anybody packs anything good, they're probably going to throw all their coins into the Icon SPC. So as these continue to drop, these will hit 6k again tomorrow. Um, yeah, I can give you some keeper ones, Bungles. Uh, and that base is better than most icons anyway. 
Yeah, he is, to be fair. I mean, he said, this, he said uh, besides the top tier ones, to be fair, he's better than a lot of top tier icons. Which he's actually dropped so much today. Is he going back up? Yeah, he's going back up. He hit 750 earlier. Which is 100k down from a couple days. He's normally about 870. And he's at, he was at 750. But you're looking at probably after Black Friday to get their coins back on him. That's a long wait for 50k. I don't know if it's really worth it. Um, but yeah, Bungles, like I was just saying, um, Otamendis have been really easy to flip for me. I've been doing a lot of Otamendis. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's working really well. Where is he at? He is low right now. I might actually buy a few. Oh, yeah, I'm buying some. I'm buying that. Um, yeah, I look into Otamendis. You got to be very careful because the market is going down and down and down. Um... I'm not, I'm not gonna overlist them right now because I don't want the market to go down on me and then I'll lose coins. But Otamendi's an 85 rated Premier League player as a center back. Um, so people are gonna be looking for him to do this icon SBC, which is why I bought him. I'm buying a 19 and 18k. Um, so I'll make a few k card. And I was looking at it, I'm making about three and a half k a card right now. And I bought about 30, so I'll make over 100k, which is actually really good. And I also got a, I wanted to finish that with Via tonight. I don't know why, guys, but I don't know if you guys can see it. But underneath of me, so like right underneath of me down here, um, there is Hudson Adoy standing there. Yeah, Bungles, max 19k. So I, I can move my I can move my finger real quick. Oh, that's the wrong thing. One sec. There is Hudson Adoy. He's been standing there forever. Like he's been there for like three days. Uh, how much do you sell him for? Just 23k, and then. Uh, he sells about two an hour. Um, to lazy buyers and stuff like that, and it's just been working really well for me. So yeah, nineteen k. You pick him up. I don't think I should buy any more because I already have sold twelve more. Um, but yeah, it works. Nineteen, nineteen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen two fifty. There, like, I've been buying nothing higher than nineteen two fifty though. Um, is BPM a good way to make coins? So yes, Meb, it always, BPM is always a good way to make coins. I did a, actually, I did a video, um, about probably three weeks ago now. Um, I can look that up. Where I went through and did BPM. Um, let's see if I can find the title of it. Is bronze pack method profitable? Um, and I went through and I opened like 50. Yeah, Meb, I don't know. Um, Hudson Adoy, it's Hudson Adoy. I was doing career mode, and I was doing a Chelsea career mode. Um, and for whatever reason, he's just been standing there ever since. And that was, that was yesterday. It's been over twenty four hours since it's been, he's been there. He just keeps sitting there. I don't know, I don't know why, but he's just sitting there all the time. But yeah, bronze stock method is always profitable. You just gotta, you got, you can hold on to it for long term, or you can sell them immediately. Because at, at some point, every single bronze will be worth more because of league SPCs. And marquee matchups. Yeah. Now one thing, I even like, so I played yesterday, he was there, and then I uh, got off for the night. I came back on today and he's still there. So he's been there for, even when I turned off my Xbox and went back on after. I don't understand it. I'm going to stream for like another hour and a half, guys. Um, and then the Laker game's on. I'm going to go watch that. The Lakers got Memphis tonight. Um, but what I want to do though is I want to get all 700k invested. Another player actually I flipped last night. He still works, Ro Magnoli. Um, the reason why I still stick stuck to uh, players like Ro Magnoli and um, Gundogan is because I haven't traded in a while. Like I haven't made, I have not, I've been staying away from FIFA. Um, I've been playing other games. Just because, there you go, that's a good deal. <clears throat> just I got, I got really bored of it. Because the game really died for a while. The League SBC, League SBCs have kind of, or not League SBCs, the Icon SBC kind of brought back a little bit of hype to it. But, yeah, I don't know. It's rough. But yeah, these Romy Nolis, I went back to what I already knew worked, and it keeps working. So, it's not bad at all. Um, what else I want to look at? Yeah, 
certain things, guys, um, like just Pianist, for example, he is extinct at 20k. So if you guys stalked your club, you would have made so many coins. Actually, there was some guy. Uh, Tariq, probably not. I did one, and it'll be 600k more, k 600k more to do it. I don't know if I want to put another 600k away. I don't know. It depends how trading goes. I'll do another one within the next 30 days, obviously, but I won't do it probably this soon. Um, because right now I have nothing in the club. Um, I did half of of uh, Via, and then I did an Icon SPC already, and then. That's a lot of stuff in my club going. But these, this Royal Magnolia, though, I bought one last night and I sold it for 73k. That's why I just bought another one the same, same thing. See, this card, like, he's, he just always goes back to 20k. So that's why I think it's really safe to do. So like this right here, 19, 1900 is easy, it's good. <coughs> You'll make coins that way. Um, I won't be surprised if this 21k actually just sells this flat out. Another thing I was looking at was icons. Because I have some coins right now. I'm like, I don't know if I want to go into trading icons right now or not. The icon market is in a really weird spot because of the icon SPCs. Thinking about taking uh, untradeable. I mean, if you really want to, I think you could. Because these SPCs are really, I don't know. I think EA are messing with the uh, the pack weight because yesterday, when it first came out, I was watching. I I feel like I have a bit on that. I was watching Nick from Run the Foot Market, and um, he. Open like a hundred of them. He was getting crazy players. My remote just died. Um, he was getting crazy players. And today I was watching Castro. And then I was watching, I forget who it was. I was watching someone else too. And they were also opening them. And they were so bad. Castro I know opened three on his own, like his account itself. And he got Vin Nistelroy, Komen, and Clivert. Yeah, clever. Like all not high value. So I think they like upped it the very first day to make people actually like it, and then after that just started killing it. Cause yesterday, like I said, it was crazy. Today, even mine, I opened mine it was late last night, so it was once everybody else was done the first set. Um I was seeing all these good ones people were getting and I got this more, so happy I didn't get Guardiola though. That would have sucked to discard the Guardiola. I think I'm gonna get that via. This is a hell of a card. I'm already halfway done in it. I just I think I'm gonna finish it throughout the week. I wanna play weekend league next weekend. So I don't know yet. I'm still trying to think to figure that one out. I wanna look into some certain players. I know some of the roads to the finals are taking a bit of a hit. Um, Dembele came down quite a bit. He's already so expensive, though. I don't know how worth it it is. This, he was 50k, Juan Jesus. Yeah, Tariq, that's the same thing. I wasn't going to do it. I was like, there's no way in hell I'm spending 600k. And then I watched all of those packs, and I'm like, damn. It was so tempting after that, because I was watching him. He got... I think it was like, in a row, he got like... <clears throat> and it was like, Butcher, Gwenyo... It was like 1.8 like mil or something like that. Or 1.5 mil. Um, then he got... Who else was... Oh, he's not in every camera. I think it's his other version that's that much money. Yeah, I had the wrong version. Um, but he got him. He got um, Alberto, the center back. Um, who else did he get? And he got Kaka... Uh, he got a ton of players, though. That was crazy. 
That's why I did it. I wasn't gonna do it until then. Um, and I'd, I'd have a, I'd have a lot more coins right now if it wasn't for that. But I made already a lot of it back from Ultimendi, so. I want to check a few other things. What was I? It's like, I don't like the idea of trading right now. This is the, like the most risky time to trade because of how up and down the market. Not, I wouldn't even say it's going up to be fair. I think it's just going down and down and down the market. Um, This guy. I was looking at Party and Dunaruma and Moreno. I flipped two Morenos last night. It worked fine. I would stay away from him again because <clears throat> I don't know if the card's really going to hold value. Because of players like uh, Wish and Alden and stuff like that. I don't know if it will. And he's hard to link with Aston Villa. Unless you were to go Robertson, but. No one's using this card. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm going to look at Pardio again real quick. One thing that's very interesting about Party is his his UCL card. It's like 150k, and it's a little, it's like the almost the same card as his his uh, inform. It's like almost the same card, pretty much. Actually, it probably is the same card, and it's like 20k. And I don't think Athletico have good enough chances of making it far. So I don't know why he's holding such a high value. I do like him when he, if he goes down to 20k though. So I, I like that idea. This is a very, very meta center mid from the from La Liga. So I feel like he could definitely go up. Same with Donnarumma. I've used Handanovic in this game and I don't like him at all. Whereas I actually kind of like the gold card for uh, Donnarumma. So I feel like maybe this card could be alright. This card's going to continue to drop though. This card's gonna go under 40k. Actually, there was one guy in the stream who came into the stream. Uh, it's probably about a week ago. He said he had like four mil or something like that. Four mil, one mil, something like that. He asked me what to invest in. I told him like high rated meta cards. Uh, or not meta cards, high rated cards for like SBC, stuff like that. I don't know if he did it or not, but he would have turned that four mil into like seven. Because certain players have just gone through the roof. Killini's never, ever 47k. Oh, that's one that popped up there. I don't know how cheap that was. Okay, well, yeah. I'll take that. He'll probably go higher again tomorrow. If I'd hold on to it till tomorrow, I'm not going to, though, but... It'll be an easy 2k right there. I mean, yeah, I guess in a way, but with AA9, like, his RTG, yeah, he got Kaka, he got Messi, he got Ronaldo, um, but at the end of the day, his main account, where he spends money on, he's packed nothing, he's packed Mbappe, but the amount of money he spends is not worth it, um, I don't know, I, I've been, I've packed some good players this year, but I've opened millions of coins in packs. Like, I've done the league SPCs. I've done Bayern, or Bayern, no, Bundesliga two and a half times. I've done every single puzzle SPC, SPC that's been released this year. I've done probably half of the special cards that have come out this year. Opened all the packs and rows. I did all the basic, all the advanced. I've done probably at least 500 upgrade packs. No joke, at least 500. Um... So I've opened so many packs this year. Plus I go to the store all the time and I just open the packs with my coins. I don't really care. Um, so I've opened so many packs and I've got some good stuff, some really bad stretches with nothing. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he got Griezmann twice. Um, I've used Griezmann this year. Though. Griezmann's not overly, like, he's not amazing. He's a good player, but he's not nothing great. I think what we're going to do right now is we're going to do David Villa. Then I'm actually going to start doing something on the market. 
because I, I really want that via. I think I'm going to put Carvalho on the other rest of the I'll put Talisca on this one. Um, I'm not sure how I want to do this, though. I feel like maybe Paulinho in here. It's an 85 rated squad, so i got to figure out how I'm going to get the rating. I think I'm going to go for, like, a David Silva. Yeah, I know. That's a lot of luck, but... I mean, I've had good luck this year, too, though. So I'm not going to say, like, it's not fair or anything like that, but... But I, f I feel like someone like... Um, someone like 89, he's played, like, a thousand games already this year. Like, he's putting so much time into it, I feel like maybe he deserves stuff like that. Um... <laughs> yeah. So it's just interesting. EA have never really been to they haven't really told us much about packs. Tell us a little bit about packs and how they work, but nothing too much. So it makes it really hard to um, try to figure out how and how it works and how people get as lucky as they do sometimes. I feel like EA have to work on giving us a little bit more information as to how everything works. I'm not sure how to make this cheap. This is going to spend, this is going to be tons of money no matter what I do, I think. I think I'm probably better off waiting a few days to be honest to do them because I'm not playing weekend league or anything. EA is very rigged. Another Spanish player. I might go for Rodri here, to be honest. That's, actually, that's my Spanish players down. I need 80, 85 rated. I should be fine now with like 83s and stuff like that. I'm going to actually do this. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like EA could give us more information, but they won't give us too much, because it's just EA, that's how they are. Um, you know, that's the whole point of packs, and that's why certain countries have already banned opening packs, stuff like that, because same thing as gambling in a way. Uh, it's it's kind of like gambling, not really though, but uh, that's why there's going to be... There's always going to be problems with opening packs. That's why, as long as they're making the money, they'll keep doing it. All right, we get Hamstrick. Oh, you live in Belgium? That's rough. I mean, I don't buy FIFA points for any, anyway, but still, not having the option is kind of interesting. I live in Canada, so I'm fine, but still, that would kind of be annoying if you couldn't even have the option to. I'll buy someone like this. I don't know. This will cost me like 100k, though. It's kind of annoying. That's why I'm going to wait a little bit. Maybe tomorrow at Squad Battle Rewards, I'll buy it. Well, three. Couldn't you buy the codes online and then change your Xbox location? So, like, change your Xbox location to United States and then buy United States FIFA FIFA cards. That would probably still work if you want to. If you wanted to, I mean, there's no point in buying FIFA points, so they're rigged anyway. But I feel like you probably could do that. Yeah, I'll say yeah. For that man, yeah. Now, where do I want to invest my 600k that I'm not gonna get completely screwed over on? I want to look into Chilwell's because I uh, put the few leaves last night and it worked well. <clears throat> 15k, I'll sell them for. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I feel like EA have a lot to work on, but. At the end of the day, <clears throat> I 
as long as there are promo packs in the store and people are opening them, EA do not care. Because at EA, the top people, I can bet you money that the top, the top, top people at EA Sports for FIFA don't even play the game. They're probably like older guys um, who don't, who only look at the money aspect of what can we do to make more money every year. Play a draft. You know, I, I, I love making drafts. <laughs> the only problem is I hate playing this game. So to, to, to play, to do a draft, I'll do one just to have a draft, but I don't actually want to play. Yeah, I know, man, but... At the end of the day, this is why I didn't stream for the last week, because even though it's worth it, I get to a point where I get I start hating the game, and then I, I need like this break to stop that. So... I don't know. It always it kind of depends on how you look at it. Um, even though it's sometimes worth it, I did not mean to go to the goalie. I'm gonna take well, Reese just in case I get Langlet or Van Dyke. Yeah, I don't know. I might play. I don't like playing on a stream though. I don't know why. I just play really bad on stream. Take a variety for chemistry. But yeah, if you enjoy playing still, and you have not got to a point where I hate, you hate the game, then I say, sure, go for it. Play as much as you want, because it's actually not a bad idea. <clears throat> but I don't think you should force yourself to play the game just for a reward. <coughs> I need uh, Laporte. Okay, I'm going to take this. I don't know why. I, why did I not take Varane? That was really dumb. I just realized that. I don't care, though. I've used both of them. They're both very similar. It's fine, but probably should have Varane. <clears throat> but I've got terrible options here so far. This has not been good. What you could always do those, like stuff like the uh, League FC method, where opening packs, stuff like that. That could be a good profit. Because if you get anything that's actually decently high rated, you get a lot of coins. <clears throat> There's a new flick up move. I don't know how I feel about that. I really hope it doesn't work because they had that last year where you flick up volley. And that was the most broken thing ever. Went in every time. That's the thing I don't like about this game is there's always something that's super overpowered and broken. And I hate that aspect of the game. I feel like it ruins the game in a lot of ways. like a Draxler for chemistry. Ooh, ooh, wow, okay. I feel like Mbappe is probably better than Ronaldo, but oh, there you go, we got them both. I'm getting all these like, decent players, but it doesn't help me with chemistry. Like, none of this is actually helping me in any way. This could be like a 189 if I get a few more big players here. Not a good start. We're at 188 though. Give me like a 95 rated icon. That'd be nice. Could be a big. Come on. Ooh, I've got Hazard like four times already in this draft. They really want me to pick Hazard. One more big player, and we can get a 18. Actually, we don't have chemistry though. No problem. I don't think I got it. Like grading wise. No, I didn't. Let's see if I can get some chemistry now. There we go. Um, I think Mbappe up top will bring more chemistry. No? Okay. I 
don't know. I think it's the most I can get right now. I don't see nothing else I could do. My back line's on full chemistry. Payet is not on full chem. Oh, Mbappe does that. But Neymar is so much better than Mbappe in this game. Neymar's one of my favorite players in the game. Neymar and Messi. One eighty is actually really good though. Yeah, that works. I'll stop on Neymar for Mane at halftime, I guess, and put Mbappe up top after. Or maybe Figo. I don't like Figo at all in this game. I've won my last three drafts in a row. Or two drafts in a row. I don't know. I've been playing well lately. I only have three draft wins out of 32 entries. Um, the last three have came from my last four drafts. But I think it was two in a row and then I lost and then I won one. So, yeah. See, like, if you look at my goals, I score a lot of goals. But my problem is my defense. I average two goals a game in drafts. I let in, which is not good. And then my possession is terrible. 36% possession. So. It's because I play like a really, when I play draft, I play like a really counterattack thing. Play. Style. I don't know, it's the way I play. I think it's good to one. Nope, it's Killing. There we go. It was easy 2k. That one is Abraham. He's up right now. He's like 14k yesterday. He actually have quite a bit. I sold like two of them last night. Um, I was, actually, one thing I was wondering is because Lukaku scored today. So I feel like his ones to watch went up a lot more than it should have. Because he won't get in the team of the week with one goal. It's not going to happen. No, he didn't go up too much. He's still 50k. One card that I like trading with a lot, Thiago Silva went to 90k yesterday. I was trying to buy him, and he was, and he was 90k. Or, yeah, he was 90, I don't understand that. He went up all up to 90k. People went through the roof when they were buying yesterday. It's coming back down a lot, but that was nuts. He has never been 90k, not even when he first came out. Alright, he's 50. Um, this card dropped a lot too. Cause he went up to 70k for a little bit. <coughs> I don't know what I want. I don't know what else I want to look at right now. Uh, what kind of icons are you talking about? Because um, in 27 days or whatever, like whenever this uh, baby icon FC expires, um, they're gonna, baby icons are going out of packs. So they'll go up for a little bit, some of them. Like the good ones will go up. So in 26 days, these go out of packs. And then the primes come into packs in 26 days. Baby Ice, what? What does that even mean? Is that a player? You have 300k, what would you do? Um, I've been sticking to like Otamendi. Um, Showells. You gotta go for more low risk players because the market is in a really bad spot where it's dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. Um, so low risk players, like an Otamendi because he's, he can't go any lower. He's a, 
85 rated end form from the prem and they always hold this value of i mean this is there's so many of them at 20k in 19750 but he still doesn't go lower because if he goes lower people immediately start buying oh you say bio when he goes out of packs he'll go up yeah actually no probably not he's four mil isn't he if he's four mil he won't go higher than that oh he's 3.8 now he's dropping because he was four mil yesterday Nice, 3.8. Um, <clears throat> I don't, I don't think, I can't see this card going higher because I feel like when the next version comes out, how much is this Eusebio? What the hell? Am I missing something? Oh, it's because he has 95 pace. That's why he has more money. <clears throat> okay, then. I don't, I don't know. It's, I thought the 891 would be higher, but it isn't. It's because of the pace. You know, this, this, I think this Eusebio is probably going to be better, but... I think you'll see this Eusebio go down a little bit. Then the other one will probably stay higher than it then. Um, but I feel like when the Primes come out, it'll cause most of the other players to go down. Like the other versions of them to come down. Um, I didn't mean to do that. I don't, I don't know. It's weird. Because... Depends how they do it. I don't know if they're gonna release Prime Icon SBCs because every year, they in the past, like the last two years, they re they release Icon SBCs, but they're always the Primes, which maybe that's why we're not getting Icon SBCs because there's no Primes. Um, so I don't know if they're gonna do that. If they do that, you say they'll go down once his Icon SBC comes out, because they're gonna do that Prime one instead of that. They're gonna sell the four million one and do the Prime, untradeable for like four and a half five million. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say right now, for sure, because there's still a lot of stuff to happen between then and now. So for all you know, by the time that actually happens, he could be even lower. I feel like I should finish this and do... Maybe it's actually... You think I should finish this right now? If I were to buy all these players, yes, it would cost me 50k, but I can redo all these other SBCs. And if I get any sort of board or higher, I'll make a ton of coins. Because even 83 is like 3k right now. I don't think they're going to really release Icon SBCs this year. But it's EA. You got to remember that. EA loves screwing over the players. Just like last year. They said <clears throat> um, these Icon Prime SBCs will be the best SBCs of the year. And then they release Icon Moments. And then... They said from now on we're only going to release Icon Moments SBCs and then they released a Prime of the best ones. They only released Prime, not Moments. So with the AI, I don't ever know. <clears throat> I'm check flipping real quick. I want to see if it's worth it to just buy the rest of these five teams and then restart and get all of those packs. So I've got like 10 decent packs where I'll probably get a few boards and maybe a few higher, higher rated players. Even like a Busquets is 45k right now. That would be it's coming at 260k. <coughs> That's a lot. It's because the market's so high, though. The one is like it's 340k right now. That's crazy. <coughs> oh, jeez. Okay, never mind. So, mains is 15k. Dusseldorf is 45k. Um. This Patter, Patterborn team is 61k. Freiburg's 10k. And Union Berlin is 30k. So that's 100, 150k. That's too much. It's way too much. Um, 
Is there any good packs on this? I don't think there is. I think they're all terrible. <clears throat> I know there's a lot of people that were not happy. LA Galaxy is a silver pack? Really? This is terrible. Wow. Okay. I thought people were pissed. I gotta put my money to something though. I don't know what I want to do yet, but I gotta figure something out. Where's he at? <clears throat> 24. It's a bit high. I want to stick to main good teams, good nations for these I, I, our, uh, informs. That was a good deal. Um, because every single day around content drop, he's got a lot. <clears throat> I'll do that. That'll be 2k after taxes. I like 21k. This is actually really good. It's also a cast for Schmeichel. really high right now um I'm trying to think like cheaper informs Bela <coughs> if they go too low like they're good they're good pickups I think ultimate is the cheapest 85 rated inform on the market though because right now I think the and meta player or not no SPC fodder players are the best ones to go with right now because no matter what they're gonna go back up <coughs> but this week's gonna be rough though because as the week goes on until Thursday there's gonna be no supply aside from um, squad battles which not a lot of people will really play squad battles anymore there's such little supply on the market, unless they release like another League SPC or um, an Advanced SPC, something to get more supply into the market, or else this is going to be really rough, where the market's going to have it's just going to die like really badly. The market's going to keep going down for probably a little while, <clears throat> but EA are going to have to find a way to fix that. To find cheap informs that oh, uh. <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about that. 23k with the shadow. The way I look at that is he's an 85 rated, 85 rated so people are gonna need him. He's from a good nation. But also, if he has a shadow, it could add extra value just in case he doesn't go as planned. Okay, that's a good buy. <coughs> that's a very good buy. <coughs> because of how much shadows are right now, people when people go to use this, Grimaldo, they're going to pay the extra 5 6k rather than paying 10k to get a shadow on him. So he's 32k with the shadow. I just thought about that. It's another really good way of trading right now is with Shadows and Hunters because of how much money they are. People weren't trying to buy them with that already on. <coughs> I'll do that. That'll be like 3k, 4k. After, actually, it's like 4.5k after taxes. <coughs> Maybe it's actually a very good idea to go through players and finding it with that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna buy that. I can make it.
like a few K there for sure. gold markets are right now. <clears throat> Damn, he crashed. Who else can I go look at? Um... For a while, that was any problem with that. Um, who else? I know Tiago's really high up right now compared to normal, but I don't think he's gonna go down real soon, so I think I can still trade with it. The shadow at 54. I'm gonna check, see, I wanna see if that sells first before I actually try to buy one. <clears throat> Let's see that first. Let's see what I have. I have about a million coins at least. So I'm in a good spot, but yeah, an hour to Laker game. <clears throat> They'll probably go in like 45 minutes. Um, do you want to check this? This Griezmann was dropping a lot last time I checked. His blue card's probably still gonna be there, yep. That's not smart. Yeah, 350. The card used to be 450. So, took a bit of a hit there. This guy's not been that low since he was in the packs. He went really high. This could be a really good card out of packs. This guy is such high demand. <clears throat> um, that was via links. Not a bad show. Is there any problem with that via? Is he's from Japan, Japanese league? I wonder if Guardiola is actually up today. Because for everybody who did not go for Guardiola, they're going to need him to get that link to that via. Oh, yeah, he's up. Oh, wow, he's really up. Wow. 436k. That via made him rise a lot. Who else? Jerguanio is too much. I don't want to put 900k. Um. <clears throat> I don't know. I just want to look at. <clears throat> Check flipping real quick. Just gonna go through squads and look. I'm gonna look at the rows of the finals. <coughs> a lot of them were down a lot today, so like the pie went down quite a bit. Terrero went down a little bit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm not a big fan of the finals. A Mobile actually looks alright though. He's 70k. <clears throat> I think he has an inform already. That's gonna be annoying. 96, 85, 79, 86, 62. 79 is the cheapest on the market. <clears throat> Nerez is 99k. Jeez, this guy used to be like 50. He was 55 when he was in packs. <clears throat> that looks like a big undercut. That looks like a very big undercut. Never mind, he's actually not that much money. Okay. 
if it was 99k, that'd be a 7k undercut. That'd be decent. Make like 4k, but. Dumfries actually 30k. Jeez. This Dumfries card would be a lot more money if he actually had like a C or center back that's not delict. Or I mean, if he had delict, I mean, as a link, a uh, strong link still, he'd probably be like 50k. <clears throat> but with an upgrade or two, this Dumfries is going to be a sick card. He'll probably be like the best right back in the game with two more upgrades because they'll have like 88 pace, 95 physical, and 87, 86 defending. Probably clunky though. Six foot two with 57 balance. <clears throat> Dembele's been going down quite a bit lately. I feel like Kondanovic actually could be like a really risk free. Because right now he's about 55k. And he can't go much lower because <clears throat> his regular card's also pretty high right now. And 89s in general are already high. What's he actually at? So they're actually wrong. It says he's. Fulbin says he's at 59k. Or 50, 50, yeah, 59k, and he's actually 70. So if he would have bought him earlier when he was that low, he can make 10k, 11k, not 10k, uh, 9k a card, jeez. I just dropped my phone. Ugh. I think I have carpet. Wendell will look kind of cheap. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure Leverkusen is not doing well right, that, right now, though. Which could be why. He's still the same price as he was earlier. 27. <coughs> I don't know how I feel about that one. <coughs> I got 557k. I gotta put somewhere. Even if I, I can put it into cards that are making K or two, then at that point, I'll still make more coins than not doing anything with it. But. I wonder about the really high. Okay, so apparently Inform Pionic is 37k, and the second cheapest 30, 37 rated Inform, or 87, sorry, um, is, yeah, okay, he's back up. Yo, bot, welcome to the stream. I was gonna say, he's too low right now compared to the rest of them. He had to be back up, but yeah, he is. <clears throat> ZH, if he's still 23k, might not be bad. They're going right back up now. They dropped a little bit, but now. Whoa, what? What the hell? Why'd he just fly like that? He was 23k earlier, nice 36. I have a feeling it's probably, if I were to go to a flipping solution right now, I guarantee that he's on one of them, that's why he's going so high. People would not think about that, and then they just keep buying him, even, even if he's higher than what they says. I'll keep buying him. What that means, though, for ZH, <clears throat> because he's so high, Footpin says he's only 23k, he probably gets listed all the time for 23k. When he gets listed, because people are going to look on Footpin at the cheapest price. This icon as we see is now 625k, which means it's going up and up and up and up. <clears throat> it's 
probably this like 87 rated price quad probably has the etch in it that's one of the top ones I'm not, sure for sure. I'm not gonna check them all, but I'll check like one or two and I'll see. I don't know. <clears throat> He's way higher than what he normally is. So there's now a page and a half of these, or two pages of Ultimates, and they're not gonna go under 19k. So tonight when they go back up, mine will sell. I sold 12 last night while I was sleeping. That's why most of them will be selling. <clears throat> what sold? Ben Yetter. That doesn't surprise me. I'm gonna check it. I'm checking Ben Yetter again. I'll see if there's any lower ones. So this is this Ben Yetter has gone down like 70k. Going back up. <clears throat> um, I like the idea of this card under forty k. It's just a little bit. He's, he's actually back up a little bit now. I think he'll get there, but gotta wait. I think he'll go down to like 40k at one point during the night, but he's gonna go right back up. By tomorrow morning when UK gets back up, prices just go flying again. So I don't know if players like 84s, like Pizzy, have gone back down yet, because if they are, I'm gonna buy like a ton of them. He was 4.9 earlier, so they're starting to come back down. I'll list it up for like 5.7. A few hundred coins just sitting there for no reason. Why not? I'll make 300, 300 coins. Whatever. Again. You can probably snipe these cards if you have very little coins and you want to keep making more coins. Sit there and snipe them if you want to. Yeah, it's like 5.7. Those will sell. Um... One player who I bought a few of but not go down up is Manjukic, which means he's probably coming back down in price. If he goes to 4.5, I'll buy like 20 of them. Um, I think what else? Pepe was 6k earlier today. Wrong one. This card's very expensive. There's not very many center backs for their that highly rated though. It's like someone like Socrates is probably a ton of coins. Yeah. People are gonna be looking for chemistry, so they're gonna put in, they're gonna put that in there and then that's why so much more coins right now. Summer's regular card might be really cheap. Um I don't know who else I can even get a look at. Hurideki, I think he's 83 this year, isn't he? Yeah, he is. <coughs> I wonder if he's, like, low now. Yeah, I feel like the, the, the meta cheap golds are dead now. That base with 10k now. This is a very good card for 10k, by the way. This card's very good. <coughs> One I'm interested in is Busquets. No, he's going higher. Oh my. He's going to go extinct. Okay, either somebody bought a ton of this player, 
or EA are putting them on the market. Because that's 55k, and there's like 100 of them in 5 second span. <coughs> yeah, 3 star weeks on Pepe, but I mean for 10k, in game he's very good for 10k. I would not say go use him, like, but if you need, like, let's say you're going, you're very budget, you just started, he's probably the best cheap option you can go for. He was 70k for the first two weeks of FIFA for a reason. Like him and Zaha, even though both a three star weak foot. It's not three star weak foot is actually not that bad this year. I used Wolcott for like two hundred games. He had three star weak foot and he scored like hundred and fifty goals as a winger, so it's not too big of an issue. It's actually, it's actually in interesting because Ronaldo's been out of packs now for a few days. And each is coming down and down and down. Messi's been down actually a lot too. This is going to rebound most likely after uh, Black Friday. But not enough to make money on. Point seven. He was one point three earlier today. One point one three. I mean, I don't know what I want to do though. Like buying wise, I kind of want to. I don't. I might just stay liquid. To be honest, like the market is just so. Half of the stuff is so high. Half of it's so low. That I'm not really feeling like buying. I also bought like five of these, and these actually worked all right. Every single one of them sold except for one. I keep lowering it, and it's still not selling. One thing I've always wanted to do was go to like a league SPC team. So. Go to LA Galaxy. Find a position that's a silver that's really expensive. <coughs> I don't think um, the MLS League FC is actually expensive at all because I don't think anybody actually cares about it. I think maybe like a <coughs> League One team been tempted just to try to price fix or something so I could probably go to one of these weird teams and just price fix it and make a thousand coins a card because of how expensive some of them can be it sometimes <coughs> so normally defenders are a lot okay there's only one here but I could probably go through and like find one that's like 2k each <coughs> and price fix them like I could buy every single one of these and now the cheapest one becomes 2k and I sell them all for 2k make 500 600 coins a card will it work i don't know it's any problem so there's only this many at that price <clears throat> i'm tempted to try to price fix every single one of them you know what, let's do it but i haven't i have not really tried this i can probably make a good five six seven k here doing this I'll list every single one of these up at 1.9. Making all these the cheapest ones on the market. <coughs> I know you gotta be careful though, you can get banned for price fixing, but if I'm only buying a few, it's not too bad. I don't know if this is gonna work, but if it does, I'll make like, like 4 or 5k. And if you do this carefully, it took me what, a second to buy these cards. To make easy coins, but you gotta be careful how you do it. I feel like the Bundesliga is probably better though. Because <clears throat> people pay these crazy prices for these players from certain teams. I think it's, where is it? Dusseldorf. And I think it's like 4k. Four point two, four point five. So center backs at this team. 
There's the one gold guy. I don't know. If, I don't know if I can do it with this team. How much of the strikers? Okay. Is there a gold striker? No, perfect. So like, I can probably go through here. Probably price fixes. I don't know how I'd exactly do it. I want one that's a little bit more rare. There's a lot of the, a lot of them here. Because they're more rare, I can do it safer. Not get banned. Maybe right back's probably the way to go with this one. Yeah. I don't know. It's interesting. I, I don't know. I don't know if it would actually work well. Grimaldo, perfect right there. That's an easy 4 or 5k. I knew that would work though with the shadows and hunters. It's probably the best bet to make coins right now. Because of the new how price the price ranges of these shadows and hunters. It's probably best off just trading with these at this point. Um, because you can make so many coins. Because people want to use certain players. But they don't want to spend the 10k to get a shadow on them. So more meta players would probably be better. So... I was looking at it earlier. Langlet's a probably good option. There's probably a lot of them at this price range because he's already probably a little bit up in price right now because of the SPCs for the SPCs. Even though he's already high priced. If you're at 85, so they'll probably still bring him up a little bit. This Abraham card actually could becomes a really good tar card with a Hunter on the 84 anyway. <clears throat> yeah, he's a lot more expensive than Hunter on. This card though with the Hunter, I mean, he becomes really fast. He'll have like 92 pace, 93 pace, and he'll have amazing shooting. So I don't know. How price fixable he is. <coughs> yeah, so it's only like 2k difference here. Um, probably need to go for more of a meta type player, so. I don't know, like, a player I could use, though. Let's do a forward attacker 15k to 25k. You find a card people actually want to use. <clears throat> that Moreno card actually, the 86 one. Might work. Twenty six and a half K with the with the hunter. Compared to his other one would be that's tempting. 35. <clears throat> I might actually do it. We'll try it. We'll see. Should work. It's actually a very usable card with that. <clears throat> we'll sell for 6k more. Tax on that's about 1.7. Make about 4. 1,250 coins, probably. I want to check out this card in general, though. Because he seems fairly cheap. <coughs> For an 86. <coughs> Jeez. Is there any here? They don't have dynamic images, so it would be pretty easy to tell the difference. Yeah, there we go. 23. Twenty-two and a half, twenty-three. There's lows on twenty-five. Someone's probably trading with that. This 
those cards flown. I, also, I told somebody to invest in these at 20 or under 20k. Make 9k a card if you did that. Summer's at 24. Not bad. Not great. If they go lower, you can pick them up, make some coins there. Card really died. Actually, not a bad card for 20k. 19 and a half k. He has amazing shooting, but has some finishing. He's good physicals, good defending, decent dribbling for a defensive midfielder with amazing balance, which is really, he'll feel good on the ball. Um, <clears throat> and great passing, good enough pace, and good work rates. It's a very good card. It's like it's kind of too cheap. No way. Um. Not a great deal. No, no, it's not even great there. <coughs> He's going up, but that. Oh no, it's a hunter. Never mind. Um. Certain players, it depends more on how good of a player they are. So on there, it's, it's adding 15k. Um, if they're really good players, it depends on their price range also. So if they're, like, if they're 20k players, it's normally about 5k. On 100k players, it's like 5, 6, 7, 8k. On really high rated and expensive players, it isn't a very big difference. Like someone like a Sun, for example. Um, because of how much money he is, that's not going to make much of a difference. Wow. Oh my. This card is dying. Jeez. So like, for a son, it's a 1k difference because he's 300k. So it's not like it's a big, de big deal on that one. But on a lower player, it doesn't make a difference. Like to Abraham, it was a 5k. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. It doesn't, I mean, even certain players, like even like a Langlet, for example, it's like a 2k difference. So I think when you're, when it goes to Shadow Hunter, stuff like that, I think special cards that are lower rated is the best way of doing that. Or not lower rated, but lower price range. So 15 to 40k was where I'd go for Shadow Hunter, stuff like that. I wonder if this is actually going to work with these, um, Strasbourg players. I'm gonna keep listing hour to hour, so I'll just keep relisting it while I'm watching the Laker game. Which is on in 30 minutes. He's already sold, okay. I had a feeling that's why I didn't buy his Chelsea Silva. I had a feeling it wouldn't really wouldn't really sell. Chelsea Silva has a player of the month right now, so They'll probably just buy him if they, or do the player of the month if they actually want him. <clears throat> I'm gonna check Moreno. Let's probably go higher than that if I actually can get someone. <clears throat> Saw one, what was that? 
I can check in a second. I haven't really been paying attention to that. Uh, but I, w I would think it's probably better than ever. That's what I would think, but I'll check. Because it's not really... It, like... I think someone like, for example, like a Gomez, for example. A Joe Gomez. He's a very good card with a, with a shadow on. Even though, even in this far in the game. But it doesn't make sense to put a, a 10k chem style on a 1k card. So for someone like him, it probably has good value. A uh, good amount of money to him. He'd probably like 6k with it. Yeah, so. A card like that, where it's actually worth it. Like, we'd actually go with it. Um, it'll have really good value, but in general, maybe maybe not too well. It's going to be harder to get now, though, because less people are going to be putting these Hunters or Shadows on these cards, because they're not 5k anymore, they're 10. And they're stupidly hard to pack, so. <clears throat> but I feel like it'd be easier to sell them now, because of... Um, how, many, how much people are going to be looking at it now because they're so expensive. They're going to try to buy it with the Hunter or Shadow just to cut the price. So, I mean, normally it's like 2k each. So, the cheapest one's 2.6. So, you're going to start seeing a bit of a rise. I think as time goes by, if these cards do not go down in price, you're going to... Or if the uh, Shadows do not go down in price, I think you're going to see it go up and up and up. Because what EA did is just terrible. I, I cannot stand how they did that. They should have up, up, like, up the pack rate. Not killed the card. Or killed the card price. Um. I, I think it's going to be really hard to get them, to be honest, at this point. This, me this method's not very good anymore now. Kind of sucks. 1.7. They're kind of down at this point. Yeah, I actually I did that one too before. I did him with the hunter, and I did uh, Zaha. Him and Zaha were really good for that. And then Marquinhos with the shadow was really good, which you, can't, you cannot do him right now because. He's really high because of the because of the icon SPC, but him with a shadow was really good. I don't know why like Hassan Adoy is still standing there. He's not going away. Let's see if I do this. <laughs> if I go here too, he's still there. I was doing a Chelsea career mode. Ah, he just won't go away. Oh, maybe he's gone now. Oh, no, he's still there. When I flip between them, he's still there. Yeah, he does not want to go away. I'll stay for like another 10 minutes, guys, and I'm going to go get ready for the Laker game. <coughs> Jeez. So I'm going to go back down. I'm actually interested. What is... I'm not going to go on my computer. I'm just going to go on my phone and check it. But what is the cheapest 88 rated inform? Ooh, actually, with a shadow, that's actually a really good idea. Because either way, he's going to have more value because he has a shadow on him. I should probably buy this instead of waiting, but I'm not going to buy it right away. I'm going to lose it, aren't I? I'm going to lose it. I'm waiting too long. It's going to be gone. Um, 55k, that's a great deal. He gone? No, I got him. And he has a shadow. So if he, so if he does not get the sale because of the rating, he'll get the sale because of the shadow. I'll do 57k. Be an easy 5k. Oh, 47. There's another one. 56k, I'll look them up for. Uh, we'll see. <coughs> oh, 
company. I just sold, didn't they? Yeah, they all sold. Is that 50k now? So it's like four of them, and they all just sold as I bought the shadow ones, which is actually perfect. Except for that, that one just popped up right there, but. Um, the shadow, though, on him cost 54k. This one just went up too. What the heck? Went up like a second ago. Yeah, 54k. Um, this one is only been up for six minutes, which means I don't know how long. Long one expired. So expired is 54. I don't know. I think tomorrow it'll go back up and then I'll get the coins that way. Because, like, during the day, people are going crazy on them. I haven't actually sold any of these in quite a while, it's actually surprising. So I'm guessing he's probably down right now. And I'll buy more, I don't care. This is crazy though. There's a page and a half of it, or page and one now. There was two pages earlier. They will not go under 90, 19k though, which means selling him at 23k and buying them at 19. There's no risk because you're going to get your money back. Because let's say he doesn't go higher than 19k again. You'll lazy sell at 23, or you can even uh, <clears throat> you can just um, what is it um. Sell it at 20 to cover taxes, and then they'll sell there too. Kind of crazy to think that I've played, I've made 200,000 coins from just playing the game. Which is actually terrible value if you think about it, because I've played this game 500 times now. Wait, no. No, 450 ish. Around 450, 420. And you only get 200k. Which is very bad. They don't reward you enough for actually playing the game itself. Like I should make more money playing the game, not sitting on the menus and buying cards and selling them for more. But I feel like happens though. I feel like because this, this card's 19k, he's bargaining less than up for 18 all the time. <clears throat> it's because no one's playing right now though. Like there was 1.7 million things on the market earlier. Now it's 1.1. 1 .1. You can tell like, the market starts dying and like getting like pretty dead at night. What are the icons at? Oh yeah, they're not gonna add more. But I mean. That's the whole point of this icon SPC, by the way, because there's no more coins. No one has coins anymore. Everybody's doing these icon SPCs right now, and at 600k each, people are losing all of their coins. They, they played for the last two months just to waste it all on these SPCs. So. So one thing you can do, by the way, if you go like this and you set it to basic, and you look like this on basic, because they're basic, that means they just got packed, and you can get really good deals that way. <clears throat> I, don't, I won't wait too far. Um, because I think they just went up. So this guy went up a minute ago. This card really sucks a left back. If you were to get this, if you were actually get this Petit and play him at Senate CDM, that would be a really good card. This is a great CDM. Actually, six hour mark too. No, nothing, nothing went up recently. Looks like anyway. Yeah, I know. Um, guess I'll look around on the market, try to find Nikon. That looks good. Um, 390. 
Actually, I was actually looking at this card. This card's actually not that bad. High, medium, four star, three star, six feet tall, amazing shooting, decent pace. Dribbling's good besides some agility and balance. And then his stamina's good enough. Actually, not that bad of a card. It's not great, though, obviously, but. How can you make money with only 6.1k? Um, so you want to snipe. So I think go through League SPC stuff. So the MLS one just came out. Um, I would stick to League SPCs. So go. I would trade a silvers. Um, you can go through different teams. So for example, um, center backs from this team are 2k. Probably snipe these. But you can go through all the different teams, um, go through different filters and different teams. Um, and you can find coins that way. Um, other sniping methods, you can always do like the basic stuff like Defender Shadow Gold. Defender Shadow Gold is 2.6 right now. Drop it to like 2.3-ish to snipe that. Um, and then whatever, let's say you get a player sell it for what they're worth, not what the cheapest cheapest sh shadow is. Um, so right now, even a hunter is really expensive because of the price up update. You can snipe these. There's a lot of different things. Um, Argentina left backs, I think, are expensive still. Yeah, Argentina left backs are like 2k. These are always good enough to snipe. Um, yeah, 2.2. 2.3. So lower it a little bit. Snipe these. I think France left backs are, are all right. Yeah, 1.5. Kalishi and Kurzum. Kurz I don't know his name. Is his name Kurzuma or something like that? Kurzawa. And there's Hernandez, M Mendy. Um, got quite a few of them that could pop up. That's another one you can do for cheap. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do though. I mean, this Ukraine, Brazil is not as good as it used to be, but it still is profitable. Um, they're 1.5 and they pop up all the time for like one guy. So, you gotta be patient. You can build that coins up really easily though. Looking at like, once you get to like 20k, you can start sniping like certain 84s because of how high they are compared to normal. They're getting they're getting listed up for way cheaper than what they actually are right now. People do not understand that they're up in price a lot because of the SPCs. There's a lot of different things you can look at and snipe. If you wanted to, you can even do like bronze pack method. It's always fairly profitable. That's a Manjikish. I got that for like 4.8. Couple hundred coins there. Fairly easy coins. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna go now because the game's on in 15 minutes. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll probably be back tomorrow night, maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'm out. Peace.